Hey guys, this is Jim again for some more ideas for your low light areas of your Florida backyard. Uh, we are at uh, my Florida backyard and uh, these are giant pothos and they're very easy to root and you can see the size to them. I mean, they're very nice plants. Uh, some of these leaves actually get to four feet and um, it's a very simple way that you can root these plants and get them going up a, you know, a live oak tree like this. If you can see that, I mean this guy goes all the way up. Once again, it's a low light plant, but uh, all they need is just the basic humidity that we have here in our state and uh, um, they're very easy to root. They have root nodules uh, with a simple clipping. Let me see if I can find one so I can show you here. Uh, obviously too you can see they grow on the ground very well too, uh, especially in low light, low light areas. Uh, you have so many options with these guys. Here's one here. Let me show you here. Right there, under each leaf segment, each leaf segment, you have a root node right there by my finger. This is how you would get these to really grow. You want to use a rectangular planter with just some basic potting soil. I like the miracle Grow soil because it already, you know, gives them a step up with uh, nutrients and everything. And you want to keep that soil damp. You want to keep these uh, clippings in a, um, a low light situation, obviously. And they will just go crazy. And uh, you end up with something that uh, might be like creating a monster but however they're really good especially if you want to blot out your neighbors on the fence next door <laughs> I'm sure we can all agree on that sometimes but uh, you can see that they are just uh, another wonderful low light maintenance free plant that you can get going and they do very well in our climate. Of course, they won't take a freeze. So these are kind of uh, from zone 9 south. And, uh, but uh, we also have these clippings. If anyone is interested, uh, please contact me. I'd be more than happy to send you some clippings and get you on your way to having a fence that looks like this. Uh, if you like that jungled in flavor and uh, you do have uh, a larger tree like this live oak here and you can see up I'm, I'm pointing right now at about I'm gonna say 30 feet and you can see these guys go all the way up into the canopy all the way So once again, if you are interested uh, in any of these cuttings, um, just get in contact with me and uh, we'll go from there. And thank you again for viewing and uh, make sure you sign that subscription button. Thank you.